Let me show you the problem. The shingles looks fairly okay, but you can see somebody has patched this already, and that's a good job, very not too bad. But you can see also, look, the shingles blew off here, and nails came off, and you can see the plywood, okay? So, in, instead of doing the whole roof, because not everywhere is it bad, you can see this is fairly good. Instead of doing the whole roof, I want to show you how to patch. Really, 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 this, this roof needs to be redone completely. But it's not worth, uh, you don't have the money. I don't have the money. If I live in a trailer home, it's hard. So you do a little bit by little bit. And I'm going to show you how to do it so you don't waste the money. And you can just continue from there to do the rest of the roof. Okay? So, so the area that I want to patch is around 10 feet. Let me see. One, two, let's say eight feet. One, two, six feet, seven feet. I'm going to cut an eight feet strips right here. So I can cover this, uh, this area of, of where it leaks. So I don't waste material, okay? So I went to Home Depot. And uh, here's my clip from Home Depot. What you should do and not do. I'm at Home Depot, and if you have a trailer home that's leaking or you need to replace a roof or something, the, I'm going to tell you what's the best and easiest way. First of all, don't get deceived by this. This is the worst, worst thing to put on a roof. What does it say? Fiberglass, mineral, roll roofing. When it says roll roofing, I'm going to show you what it is. Look here. Look here. That's what it is. It's paper. You cannot put paper on your roof and think it's going to last. Maybe three years, four years, and you're done. They sell it for $52 a roll. Instead, spend that extra money, $116, and get this, Liberty. It's SPS self-adhering cap sheet. SPS is like a rubber, modified rubber. Peel and stick, it says here, peel and stick. It is an amazing product. It is one of the best products on the market. Home Depot sell only the cap sheet. You normally should have a base sheet with it. And you can watch my other videos where I show where you do base sheet and the cap sheet. But you can get away with by the cap sheet. But I want to show you how you can repair a trailer roof, uh, leaks on a trailer roof. I haven't been, I haven't seen this roof. I don't know where the leaks are. But... At least I'm going to show you. I'm taking these two rolls with me in case I need it. And I want to show you how to fix leaks on a trailer, a trailer roof, a trailer, a uh, trailer home, trailer, uh, a trailer house, trailer home, trailer. I think I don't know what it's called. Anyway, all right. Well, I'll see you on the roof. Drip edges. You're going to always need a drip edge. It's the best thing to do. These things are so flimsy at Home Depot. It's the worst, worst. They don't keep any good stuff. But I'm going to show you what you can use. Something like this. See, it's rather thick. That's probably what I would use if I had to buy it at Home Depot. But you don't want to get the flimsy stuff. So let me get... Uh, uh, I'll get me... I'll get this. This is fine. I'll get this. Two pieces of this. Okay. So this is a, I don't know which one it is. Five and a half overhanging drippage. See there? That's what I would get. But um, it's so flimsy. But this is, this is the best they have. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. All right. So now um, I'm going to show you what, how to make it very easy for you. Okay. All right, so I'm 67 or 68 almost. I don't have the strength to carry a roll up there. What I do is I uh, take a roll and I roll it out. 
I don't have a tape measure, so I'm going to just have to do it one, two, and eight. This is around eight feet right here. And you cut it. <clears throat> now, what I do is I use a hook blade like that. It makes it easier. And I cut it like that. Nice straight line. All right. So I want two, three, I think three, three lengths. So roll it out. Okay. Let's try to get them equally, equal lengths. Right, right there. Okay. So I cut this. Same thing again. And there you go. So I can carry maybe two, two, two of these at the same time on a roof, but I cannot carry the whole roll. It's 110 pounds. So um, let me show you how easy it is to fix this. And you can do all this by yourself. Okay, this is a little bit heavy, but um, you can do one section at a time. Eight, 16 feet, half a roll, 50 pounds. Remove the nails, loose nails. Make sure you don't have nails lying around. All right. So I'm making a repair on a trailer room. Normally, I would put a drippage like this down. All right. So I'm going to cut these shingles back to the old drippage. Okay, there's the old drippage, you see that? Because the shingles are overhanging too much. See, see the shingles overhanging? You want to cut this away to the drippage. See like that? Okay. That's better. That's it. Because the shingles are over, always overhanging a little bit, so you want to cut it away. Just, okay. Then you put your drippage like this. Something. I go with the angle. I got it all lined up. Now what you do is you take the bottom plastic off. Okay. Take the other plastic off here. And that's it. That's how easy it is. Look. So I got it lined up, just like that. I want to show you. Watch. Remove the plastic. Oh, sometimes it doesn't move easy. All right. Done. Take the plastic and the other plastic from from the other row together. You take it out together, okay? And you peel it off. And look. That's how you do it. This will never never leak again. And it will last 40 years or more. This is unbelievable material. So, this was done about five years ago. And look, 
They didn't even do it professionally and look, it's working good. All right. Now, to overlap all the way, or you can cut it just the other side of the ridge, like this with a hook blade. All right. I don't have a chalk line to snap a line, so I just do it eyeballing. It probably took me a half an hour to do this. This is it. This roof will last, this patch will last, and then next time you just continue overlapping maybe six inches and just continue with it. You don't need to do the whole roof at once. This was hundred and uh, like a hundred dollars worth of material. I covered this area and you can continue now when it gets hot it's gonna start sticking the Sun is just barely coming out and it's already starting to stick look see look it's starting to stick so you don't need to worry about the wind lifting it up or nothing I step on it and look watch watch I can barely lift up. You see that? <laughs> That's it. About a year ago to also fix some two leaks here around the vent pipes. And here is what it looks like. I fixed around the vent pipe here. And here's the video on that particular repair I did here. See this? It's cracked open. Water just goes in there. So this is notorious to break up. This now. What you do is you can replace it with something like this, but I don't have the right size. Look, this is for a two inch or three inch pipe. It's, it's just too wide, see? So what you do is you, re you remove all the shingles and then you put this on there. And you slide it over this and this will be tight to the pipe like this one it used to be. But I don't want to remove nothing here. I just want to fix what's here until like until we do the roof here okay so that's what we're gonna do there's another one here see that it's starting to go um i use uh, super silicon see that i hope you can see that and i do it very quickly of a fleece let's say just like that And then, I don't know if it's big enough. Yeah, it should be. And all I do is, I cut tabs in here. So, look how easy this is. Tabs, scissors are blunt. And just like that, I can seal this. Just like that, boom. Will it work? Yeah, it will work. Maybe too long. Maybe cut it. Wanna close that tab there. Just like that, see that? So this is how I do it. A quick fix, it will last. Oh, I forgot. Well, I should have removed this. Okay. And there, and there. And that's it. You got the, your flashing is fixed. Just easy as that. Look at that. And here, look here. And uh, they're okay. No leaks. I fixed around the vent pipe. So you can do it. Thank you for watching. Please thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.